Hello everyone, it's Mr. McBride from MKB. Hope everyone's doing great today. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you about how you can start your Pinwheels for Peace pinwheel. So the easy way is if you have a printer, you may, do not have to, but you may go to the Pinwheels for Peace uh, website and they have a template where you can download this and print this template, all your instructions, what you need, and then it, you can decorate from this page, cut it out and assemble, but let's say you don't have a printer. I don't have a printer at home, so what am I gonna do? So what I could do is I'll get a sheet of paper. It can be whatever color you want. In this case, for me, it's white. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find uh, something to trace with. Find something that's square because uh, the template is square and that's for a reason. We don't want any different shapes. So even if it's a uh, straight line, it can't be a rectangle. It needs to be a square so it spins properly. So I'm gonna get this book. It's close to a square. It's very close. So thank you, Mr. Reynolds, for letting me use your book as a straight edge. And I'm going to make a square. So I trace it. So a square is four signs that have the same length. So if you can get it really close to that, maybe that book wasn't exact, but that's close enough. And I think it's good enough to start with the next, next point. Process. After I make the square, now I need to make a couple more things. And here, I'll bring the example out so we can look at them side by side. So what this has, that what this needs is it needs a dot in the center. So go ahead and make a dot in the center best you can the center wherever that looks it's in the middle of everything so middle with the left right top bottom as best you can so and after that you're going to make these diagonal lines and they go from the corners and they go to the dot and that's what you'll need to do notice how the diagonal lines go towards the dot but not all the way there's a, a little bit of empty space in between the lines and the dot now there's a reason for that you don't want to cut on the line and go all the way to the dot because then uh, the flaps of the, fin the pinwheel will fall off. Do, we're going to emulate what they have on the left. We're going to make it over here on the right. You can use your free hand. You can use a straight edge, which what I'm going to use with this ruler. And I would make them the same length. So... Because I have a, a ruler, a ruler is a really good tool to have here. I can just look at how far I'm going. I say three and a half inches. I can even make a mark. I'm going to go from three and a half inches down to the corner. There's one. Let's see. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other ones. You can watch me here. Three and a half inches to the corner. Now mine's three and a half. You don't have to make it quite that long or quite that short. It's whatever you think is best. Um, I would be consistent. So when I was looking for three and a half, I always put the end point of the ruler, the zero. There is no zero number, but that means zero. Uh, I put it at the very edge of the corner of the square. And then I found three and a half and worked my way back. You might find a different way and that's fine. But if you can do that and make a pinwheel like this, you're ready to decorate it. All right, guys, if you've made it this far and you've either printed out your template or you've made the square that will later become your pinwheel, then you are done with this video and you can move on to the next about decorating your pinwheel. If you need another way on how to make your pinwheel, stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm going to show you one final way. If you don't have any square things to trace, um, no square books around, nothing, no blocks around to trace from. Uh, that doesn't mean that you can't make a pinwheel. If you can find a ruler or something to measure with, um, you can. You can make a square. All I have to do, and I can use a little trick because this line is straight. This whole bottom part of the page, well, this line is straight. It means I need to make two more lines that are the same distance, and then I can have a square. So I'm going to go ahead and make a mark at about five inches. So I'm gonna put my zero mark at the corner right here. I'm going to look for five and make a dot. Zero at the corner, I make a dot. That dot lets me know that from this corner all the way up, that's five inches.
I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna put the zero mark on that corner again, and I'm gonna go five inches to the right this time. You're like, great, I made two dots. Where's my square, Mr. McBride? Patient, patience, patience. We will get there. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we are going to make the final dot, and then we're going to connect all the dots to make our square. Uh, from this point, I will put that zero mark, zero mark, right here. And this is the part where you're just going to have to use your best artist judgment. Uh, it, if, you kinda ha if you're not paying attention, you have your ruler kind of slanted it's not going to turn out uh, quite as nice as you were hoping so be very careful to make sure it is very straight and that it is parallel with the paper parallel mean it's going the same way i see that the paper is relatively straight and i'm trying to make my ruler go the same direction so i'm trying to get as best i can and that's all you can do anyways kids all right at my point i have my zero mark i go to five inches I'll make a little dot. And from this point, I can just take my ruler, press my Sharpie or your pencil, whatever you have against it. And that's it, there's a square. And you can repeat the process from what we talked about over here. Dot in the middle, lines going towards the middle but not completely touching it. And then you can have your pinwheel. I'm excited to see you guys construct your pinwheels. Now go ahead and click on the next video talking about how we can decorate them. Bye-bye.